Hello everybody! Welcome back to another video! Today, I want to show y'all Blocks Fruit, because I have recently gotten into this game and I kind of just been playing through it as you could tell, and I kind of wanted to make a guide for like new players and stuff uh, that are just getting into the game and have like no idea what to do. So I would say start off, to start off, you have quest, and to activate quests, you just go up to them, select the quest, it'll give you the level requirement, description, well, w what you basically have to do, and the rewards. So, it doesn't really matter, like, about the rewards and stuff, because they always increase, uh, in first C. I don't know about second or third, but I, they just increase every single time. So, when you're on the next quest, this little compass will tell you. And it will show you where exactly the NPC that you need to go talk to is, and uh, basically uh, you'll figure out like what quests you have to do. It's very uh, helpful, actually. So yeah, uh, you just go around killing enemies like this, and that's the only type of quest. And uh, so basically all the quests are just the same, you just have to kill other things uh, and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so there are two types of enemies. There are enemies like this, which are just, like, regular NPCs and stuff. And then you have boss enemies, which are basically, uh, bigger and tougher enemies that, uh, basically do more damage and, um, they give more EXP and stuff like that. So, you most likely get a, um... A boss, like, some bosses have a chance of giving a boss drop, others don't. I'm gonna now, I'm gonna quickly go and show you a boss for you guys to get an idea on what the bosses are like. Okay, this is one of the boss bosses, as you can tell. Um, basically, even if you have, I'm just, this is a little side note, even if you have a Logia, or, uh, well, no, they can't hit through, uh, Observation Hockey. But, uh, if you have Logia, it won't work on bosses. They can still hit you through Logia. So, this is a good example of a boss. You kill it. Then, uh, unlike regular NPCs that spawn every, I think it's like, uh, 10 seconds, 5 seconds? I think it's 10 seconds. Uh, majority of the bosses take a whole half an hour to spawn, which is not great for grinding and stuff because the best quest you can get is a boss quest uh if you're grinding the boss and you might be thinking oh let me just do the quest below and then uh just do that until the boss respawns do not do that don't do that that's really bad instead leave the server just like that and then uh Basically, just keep rejoining servers until you find out that the boss is back. And then you farm that way. It's a lot faster and a lot better. I've used it. It's so good. And if you're trying to grind for boss drops, th that also works. It's a really good method. But after you're done with quests and stuff, you'll level up and then you move on to the next quest. And that uh, brings me to stats. Stats basically uh, boil down to the blocks fruit. Everything increases damage except for defense that gives you more health and melee which does uh, combat like fighting style damage and it gives you more stamina. But uh, for the rest of them they're self-explanatory. You get more damage sword, in gun, and in blocks fruit. Uh, what you really want to do is um, just try in main one of them. Do not try and be uh, a hybrid where you basically have everything in every little a single thing. You won't be good at all of them, you'll just be bad at all of them. That's, uh, yeah. So like, I would say for new players, because, because you are most likely not going to find a really good Vlox fruit right off the bat, I would say main sword. It's the most easiest one to do. Because you have so many sword choices, and they're just overall really good. Gun, don't go into gun. Gun sucks, because it's so slow, and the fire rate sucks. It's just bad. And then when you actually get a good blocked fruit, I would say this. Okay, 
This gets a little bit complicated because this goes on to my next point, which is hockey, which I had on this whole time. Uh, hockey, basically, it gives you like, I think it gives you a damage reduction and stuff like that. And with, basically, hockey starts at the um, arms or the legs, depending if you have uh, dark step. It'll start at the legs, and if you have everything else, it'll start at the arms. Uh, hockey basically allows you to hit Logia-type uh, blocks for users, uh, which basically means for... Oh, I can give you a good example right here. Okay, so, because I have the dark, uh, the dark dark fruit, which is a Logia, I don't get hit. And uh, the way that works is that the elemental... Um, like, effect only applies if you're 10 levels above the target, and it doesn't work on bosses. So, basically, what hockey lets you do is uh, ignore that uh, 10 extra levels and just lets you hit them. It's really nice to have, and it's necessary for the later bosses. I will now show you where to get hockey, and um, also... Uh, this is the same place where you get Gepo and Flash Step. And basically, those are just really helpful for mobility. They're really nice to have. So I suggest, as soon as you get to Frozen Village, come to this cave. Where over here, you have the Ability Teacher. And it will he will teach you everything. Which is uh, Sky Jump, which is Gepo. And that's only 10,000. And that basically allows you to jump... Like, I think it's like five times extra in the air. It's really helpful. Then you also have Flash Step, which is 100,000. So if you have the free cash, totally get it. Because it just allows you to teleport. It's really nice. And then we finally have Hockey, which is, I think, yeah, it's 25. So it will start at the arms or the legs. It doesn't look like mine. Because I have full body. How you get full body is that basically you go up to an enemy, and this is why I say main sword or fighting style, because every time you hit an enemy while having hockey on, it will give you a point towards hockey experience. And basically, the more hockey experience you have, the more progression you get in hockey. So it goes from the lower arm to full arm to full arm and torso to full arm torso and head and then to legs uh half legs and then to full legs and that will reverse depending if you have dark step like uh you'll start with um the half legs and then go full legs to torso instead of uh legs to i mean arms to torso so yeah, that's the difference. It's only really visual on the... If you start with uh, legs or arms, there's no difference between the two. Uh, it's more of like... Uh, it's just like a cosmetic thing, but it does matter if you have full body or not. Because full body gives you permanent buffs, um, I, I think, for defense. So uh, people will, be able, will not be able to hit you as hard, depending if you have full body on. So I suggest maining sword or a fighting style. And the best ones I've found to like grind for hockey experience is Electro, which you can get at Sky Island. It's on one of the rocks in the ocean. Uh, it's the Mad Scientist. It costs 500,000, which seems like a lot, but the further you get in, uh, the more money you'll make. So it's not that hard to get that much money. And then I also suggest you get uh, the Shark Saw Sword. Because this thing has two moves that, all, that both multi-hit. And both of the moves don't do like a crazy amount of damage. So it allows you to use the abilities on your target multiple times while you're like constantly getting hockey experience so it is amazing to duo these together like because you can do the z move into an execution 
into an electrical floor. And you just do that while grinding. That that this is like the main way I like grinded throughout the whole game so far, and that allowed me to get full body hockey very easily. And what I should do now is refund my points and go into blocks fruit because I have a really good uh, blocks fruit right now. Uh, you can look up like the tier lists and stuff for blocks fruits. Um, I would suggest for a beginner player go for like magma, light, or dark. I wouldn't really say ice, but that's still a good like thing. And anything like above that, I would say keep. Don't eat it. Look up if it's good or not uh, first, because the first time you click on a fruit... Hold on, I can give you a perfect example. Uh, let's say I got a spike fruit. So I click on it. It doesn't eat it. Don't worry. It will not eat it. You can choose to eat it, drop it, or store it. So in my case, I would want to store it. Um, and just like, here's a little minor thing. You cannot... Uh, tr like drop stored fruits. It's physically impossible. You cannot. I'm pretty sure in second C you can start trading stored fruits, but in first C, no. So if you. And you can always store one of each. That's another thing. So yeah. I would say just kind of keep all the double fruits you get and then you could trade them in second C. So yeah. Okay. Even though I got sidetracked in explaining where to get uh, the the shark saw, which is, I didn't even say that, how you get it. Uh, basically, random, I think it's like a 30 minute to an hour chance of saw spawning right here. He will be here for 15 minutes, and I think his boss level is like around 100. So, uh, yeah, I would suggest just doing him, like, even if you're a low level, because higher levels will come over to try and kill him as well. And uh, if you just damage him a bunch, you will get credit uh, for the kill. And you will get a lot of EXP for it. So yeah, I would suggest going for him. And he spawns in Middletown, which is literally the middle of everything. And he has the chance to draw, uh, drop this shark saw. But now you might be thinking, how do I get places? Uh, you go up to boat dealers. And basically, you can buy a dinghy, which is the slowest boat, or you can, like, pay to get, like, bigger boats. For Brigade, you won't have it unlocked. I think that's a... It's like you have to get, like, kills or something. I don't know. I unlocked it further in. And I was like, okay, neat. But, um... Yeah. Boats are the main way of traveling. You can swim if you don't have a Devil Fruit or your Fishman. But, um... Yeah, it's not really recommended because it takes forever to get places. Unless you're going like a very short distance, like the jungle to Middletown. Uh, don't waste your money on a boat for that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as you can tell, I don't... I have a... Uh, not any of the boats in the regular boat. That's because this is a Game Pass boat. And I would say... Out of all the Game Passes to really get... I would say main priority is fast boats because they are so helpful. It's like I only have the rocket boat unlocked, but it's so much faster. And for me being a very impatient person to getting places, it's really helpful. Like, oh my God, I, I love this thing, how fast it is. But uh, yes, uh, get this if you can, and if you have the spare money or you can, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Uh, double two times drop chance. I guess that it's kind of good. Uh, two times money. I don't see a reason why you would get that. I mean, if you want to buy uh, fruits from the fruit dealer, uh, like this is the cousin, but uh, the other one, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I don't see the point in money. Uh, two times mastery. Yeah, I would say that's for like later end game but even so like you get if you're like a max level i'm pretty sure you can get like in one kill with like a level zero like weapon you could get up to like 
at least 110 so it's not like really needed i would say um what else do we have here dark blade i've heard that dark blade is very overpowered but i don't really want to spend money on it like i don't really need it i i like the swords i use uh <laughs> at the moment and fruit notifier it's it can be helpful but that's if you're staying in game for like hours on end for a fruit to actually spawn that's the only time i would say that's really good uh other than that yeah i would say main priority is get fast boats and i'm i think in second c you can trade game passes uh so if you really want to you can just wait to get to second c and like get a rare fruit and trade it for game passes I'm, pretty sure you could just do that so yeah it's up to you guys uh, i'm not like telling you you should do this this is optional but yeah if you want a fast boat just get it or trade for it yeah that's all i have to say about that but um i kind of uh while i was talking about boats i was talking about the the fruit dealer uh that's basically the way you get double fruits there's only three i think now, there's multiple ways to get Devil Fruits, but I'm thinking in first seed, there's only three uh, that I know of, at least. So, there's way number one, you can, they spawn every hour, and also when it says, uh, well, I don't have a good case of it, but when it says loud tremors can be hear, heard across the sea, that means Greybeard has spawned, and I'm pretty sure when Greybeard spawns, a fruit also spawns. So, uh, yeah, you could test your luck for that. Um, but the main way people get, like, Devil Fruits is by the Blox Fruit Dealer. And basically, he sells, uh, he sells Kilo and Spin, but then he also has the chance to either sell one Devil Fruit or three Devil Fruits. I don't know. i never seen him sell t two, uh, so I don't know. This is, you know, like, the only times I've really seen him sell one. Uh, so yeah, he will, it has a chance of selling, like, here we go. Uh, he's selling, uh, the Falcon, Paw, and Gravity. Devil Fruits are, are expensive, but I would say it's pretty worth it. Like, depending if you're really trying to get a fruit, it's really worth it. But, uh, the Devil Fruit, the Black Fruit Dealer Shop changes every four hours. Like, right now it's about to change in, like, 25 minutes. But, uh, yeah. Uh, basically, with him, uh, it's, like, a very low chance of him actually, like, uh, being able to sell, like, something like Leopard or, like, Doe and stuff like that. So, I would, I would say, um, when he is actually selling those and you have the money, I would say spend it. Like, totally spend it if you don't already have it. Because... Storage can only um, hold one type of fruit unless you like upgrade that storage capacity, which costs Robux. I don't think there's a way you could buy uh, to get more storage. Uh, but yeah, it's really good. He's really good. He is expensive though. So if you are a new player, I would say this is the better option to getting your double fruits is the box fruit dealer's cousin and a little bit of a disclaimer you have to be level 50 to actually start like buying from him and i think the like his cost at first cost around like 25 to 30 thousand i would say yeah so with the blocks fruit cousin uh basically every two hours you can buy a random devil fruit from him and uh, it's all luck based. You can get a really good devil fruit or a really bad one. Like I've gotten all of these from the him, the cousin. I haven't found any of these. I think I only found the spin fruit, like just lying on the ground somewhere. That was it. I would say if you real it to get like a really good fruit, and you're our new player, do this. It's really good. 
like so i'll show you how he works so he talks about he's a cousin he sells random physical fruits uh to people every two hours and the higher your level is the more it will cost you so because i am 665 it cost me 99,000. that might seem like an, a lot but as you're grinding it's not because my quest that i'm like farming on right now uh, gives me 10,000, so I would only have to do the quest nine times to make up for it. So yes, I'm gonna um, buy a fruit from him. Um, he'll tell me my level and stuff like that. Then I'll say random fruit. Would you like to buy a random fruit uh, uh, for this much? But at your own risk, no refunds. Yeah, so you can't like return them if you get like spin or something. It, everything's final. So I'm gonna buy it. Or not, because I'm still on cooldown. Okay, so in eight minutes, oh, saw, 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 saw. Uh, this is the boss I was talking about. But in eight minutes, I'll be able to get get the chance of getting either a good double fruit or a bad double fruit. You never know what you're gonna get. But um, here, I'll show you like what the saw boss is. He will. He's a uh, shark guy. Which yeah, here he is. He's a shark guy with the actual blade. And he will use the, the moves of the blade uh, to fight against you. So I would say for a new player, just keep your distance because he'll do that move. And it will do a lot of damage if you get stuck in it. So what I suggest is dash attacking because then he won't be able to hit you. And uh, yeah, that did like 100 of my health. Jesus. But um... Yeah, do dash attacks because um, enemies have a higher chance of missing you if you do dash attacks. So yes, uh, dash attack for him. Or use a double fruit and just outrange him. Either or works. But yeah, uh, that's the boss. That's how you get the sword. And yeah, you guys might be wondering, oh, but what is this cape? Like, I, you might have saw in my inventory and stuff. Like, oh, what is this cape? Oh, what is this slingshot? Where do you get those? Uh, that brings me to another thing, which is uh, weapon shops. Weapon shops are basically just uh, places that you can buy weapons. That's literally it. They cost money and stuff like that. Even though some weapons can be boss drops, uh, well, if a weapon is a boss drop, you cannot get it from a store. That they, they don't sell them uh, because they're just boss. Uh, they're only bosses. <laughs> Boss drops. That's, it's that simple. Uh, they have, you have a low chance of actually getting the weapon, uh, from a boss. That's why, uh, the, like, uh, killing the boss, leaving, and then joining a server with the boss back is really useful. So, yeah. Do that for, like, weapons and stuff. With, um, gear like this, this is a cape that you can actually buy from a shop. I will show you where that shop is, but um, yeah, it costs 50000 and I'm pretty sure you can only access the shop if you are a high level. I forget what level you have to exactly be, but you basically go from Middletown and you go to this island, and in one of these pillars with the little houses on top, there will be an entrance which you can go into and with these you need a way of like j getting up there so i suggest you get gepo because without gepo you cannot make it up these they're just uh like they're not uh like made in the right way where you can just like double jump up you have to like use a gepo or something like that so i will show you that but uh i think what level what level do you have to be uh, 120. I think you have to be a level 100 to actually access the shop. Uh, or he'll tell you something like you're too weak, uh, or something and not sell you it. So yeah, you go down here and then he will be right here. And then he will, uh, yeah, he will just like say all this, but he wants to say, he wants to give you the cave for 50,000, but because I already have the cape. Um, I, I don't want to rebuy it. So, what Cape basically does is it gives you 100 energy. Pretty sure at least 100 energy. Yeah. 
100 energy and 100 health. It's really useful uh, for early game, I would say. And you can get, like, better capes and stuff from boss drops, but yeah, uh, I haven't gotten any, so I've been using the black cape for a while. But yeah, um, that's how you get the black cape, and uh, with the Usopp tab, I don't really know how I got this. I think I just killed somebody and I got the hat, I, I don't really know how it works. But don't use the hat, it increases range damage, which nobody uses. I would say, okay, there is a use for range. The only use for range is to actually round up enemies. That is the only use. If, like, if you're trying to, like, bunch up a bunch of enemies, I would say use the refined flintlock. Uh, that's from the marine base that I was just at, and I passed the shop. It's the shop behind the house, right next to the quest giver. It's it's good enough range that you'll be able to hit stuff with it, uh, and it has good fire rate to it, so uh, it's really good for rounding up enemies. So I would suggest using the refined flight block for that. Also, when when you join the game. Uh, you might have your tab open, and you might realize, oh, uh, there's this, like, bounty thing, and everybody has their own bounty. Yeah, uh, bounty is a system in the game where, uh, like, depending on your bounty, uh, things might, like, unlock for you and stuff. So, for example, if I go over here and kill the Drug King, uh, he will give me 625 bounty for killing him. Uh, the higher level bosses will give you more bounty. Regular NPCs do not give you bounty though. Uh, that's a thing, they only give you EXP and money. So that's a good thing to know if you're farming for bounty. And I would say, if you are farming for bounty, bounty, don't really do PvP in first, first scene because like, most likely, uh, there's gonna be like a way overpowered guy, uh, that's kind of just hanging around. He'll probably RK you. He doesn't get anything out of it because uh, there most likely is a huge level gap between you two. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't really say PvP is the right way to go for bounty. I would say just try and do bosses because that's how I got my bounty. I literally just been farming and just playing through the game normally without really that much PvP. And I got a lot of bounty. So yeah. If you need bounty uh, for like saber and stuff like that, hold on, yeah, for saber, uh, just farm bosses. Don't bother for PvP. It's not that good. It only gives you like 1,000 to 2,000, depending if the uh, person's lower bounty than you. I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, don't do it. But um, as I was saying, saber. You might be wondering how to get that. Basically, it's a whole puzzle thing with Jungle Island that unlocks this door uh, and in here is uh, the Saber Expert Shanks and he will drop, he has a 100% chance of dropping his Saber and the Saber is one of, it's literally one of the best um, first C uh, weapons because it has really good range and it's dash attack is pretty good. It's really good for farming. So if you're a sword main, I would suggest picking this up. And I'm pretty sure you need Saber for the later quest in second C and stuff like that. So it's like required that you grab it and stuff. I won't be explaining the whole puzzle system here because that would take too long. So I'm just going to say uh, farm for it. I mean, not farm for it. Uh, just look up a video how to do it and... Uh, know that the door won't allow you to unlock it unless you're level 200. You have to be level 200 to actually do the quest. So yeah, um, that's how you get the saber. It's really nice. And then you can actually evolve this to a uh, saber V2. And that basically uh, makes your effects cooler. And it's just overall a lot more powerful. 
basically how you do that is you have to be around 1 million bounty i'm pretty sure i was at like 943,000 bounty and i killed somebody yeah you have to kill somebody around your bounty level and it will say your saber has changed in some way and that's how you know you got v2 it's really nice to have and i would suggest getting it it's really good um also you can uh, there's uh, bleh, there's also a neural weapon that has a version 2 that is decently easy to get. Uh, I wouldn't count it as really easy to get. Okay, so it's the Basento. Basento costs 1 million at Sky Island to get. It's really expensive, but it's so good. It's really worth it. Uh, I would say because um, Windbreaker and uh, Quake Sphere, they just do absurd amounts of damage. And... I upgraded it at the blacksmith, which requires materials that have a chance of getting dropped from NPCs. So yeah, that's how you get uh, like the little star there, and it does 25% extra damage. It's really good. And the way you get version 2 of the Pacento is that you have to kill Greybeard. Uh, yeah, that might sound really challenging, and it is, because Greybeard is a level 750 boss. But if you just have, like, some, like, high levels to help you, like this guy, or me, um, just, like, ask them if they can help with Greybeard. Uh, do a decent a bit to, of damage to the actual boss. You need to do... You had to at least help. You can't just stand there and do nothing. You had to actually help fight the boss. And if you have... Jesus. Uh, if you have the Basento equipped, when he dies, he will give... Oh. He will give you V2. So, yeah. Uh, what V2 does, it just makes your abilities overall stronger. I'm gonna have to murder this guy in a second. He is annoying the hell out of me. Um, but yeah, V2 is overall better. I've been using it. It's nice. So yeah, if you uh, have the time to get 1 million, I would suggest get it and get the Bizento. It's really nice. Uh, but yeah, um, that's the Bizento. Oh, and now I can actually buy the fruit. So see what I get. I got a kilo. Of course I got a kilo. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So, I got really unlucky this time. I'm gonna drop it because I already have a kilo in my storage. Right? Yeah, I have a kilo. So, um, I guess another way if you want to farm for double fruits is just, uh, kind of waiting on Jungle Island for fruits. <laughs> like, for people to get that and then drop their fruit i i don't know <laughs> i guess you could do that i think that's like a big time waste but i mean i found an ice fruit once just kind of chilling there i was like oh okay but uh, yeah i uh, i guess that's another way you can farm for delta fruits apparently so yeah i think that really sums up the majority of like the basic stuff that you want to know for um block fruit as a beginning player um tell me like put it in the comments if i missed something or if you want me to put like do a more detailed guide where i go to every single island and show every single quest and how to do do it or uh if you want me to make a video on how to get the saber because uh it's not really that hard to get the saber it's more of just like you kind of need to know what you're doing. <laughs> so yeah, um, this was Encrypted Degree. Um, showing, I guess. Uh, Blocks Fruit. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, just leave a comment uh, what you thought of this type of video. And I'll see y'all later. Goodbye. Goodbye.